this. You are all one cast. Amen. Hold each other whilst you are in this. And all of us on the outside will be holding you. As you do this. That's real. Even when we've not been here, we are holding you. We are here for you. Well, to sound like you can reload it, we are doing rehearsals. <laughs> Hopefully they get it this time. So then, after the formal introduction, Stasi comes in again, right? And what does Stasi do? Just after that. Oh, sorry. Which is, which, which is fine, we can put that down as another plot point, but just oh. before we get to that, uh -huh. yes, so, um, Stasi does check Sylvester, um, and I want to make, make that very clear. So, it's from the warning? Yeah, yeah. Because well, the warning's like, I am actually trying to say this is going to be a problem, and then it's like, oh, it's now I'm being checked. Alright, I'm going to get, get a little bit nasty now. Stuff like here is about. Uh, Use your hands to like outline your uh, features. So it's all about like the shape itself, the lusciousness itself is like who's more luscious than the other. So that's something that you have to think about. So a lot of it has a lot to do with like, some people nowadays like it has a lot to do with talking like, look, like my, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course you can add like a little spit in there or something, but not too much, it looks a bit crazy. I don't think it'd be a bit like having a discovered I feel like my hidden self in an odd way like I feel like there's this side of me that I just never tapped into before I'm still very much exploring that I don't even know necessarily what that looks like this has been a very recent discovery for me but I really feel like there's maybe like a performer inside of me that really feels like it comes out during boom <laughs> Sun and Kiki in 2021 started unlocking who I am in, from gender to just me in myself and how comfortable I am in myself. It taught me what I was allowed to have in the world, the space I was allowed to take, the things that I am allowed to do. It's given me the world, really. It's given me the world in a new view and a community. 
access to that. I can see y'all. Uh, oh, I can see as well. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Oh, sweet. I am Jermaine Ellis, uh, Director of Program Operations at Hedrick Martin Institute in the United States. Um, also, Jaylen Lamvin in the ballroom scene, so that's kind of my dual role here um, for Sundown Kiki. I believe we got like a Twitter message or some sort of like social media message from the folks at Young Vic um, asking to have a conversation around um, partnering with a United States based organization um, for Sundown Kiki and expanding it. I mean, yes, we had the conversations, we, we, we indulged, we engaged, we, you know, had um, planning and we, we, we came to the table, but it wasn't until they arrived and they came to HMI in uh, June of 2022 uh, when it really hit. Those two weeks really solidified. Wow, like you know, uh, just just in regards to that, there were no issues, no problems. The project was successful. The the working relationship between the adults and the young people was just great, and so that was just an eye opener to me. And then when it was the closing of that piece how everyone really opened up and really let loose on how emotional and how impactful this, pro this process was for them um, was really when we said, okay, we have something here. The whole, the whole play is basically about the struggle, like people who, who are like, people who are outcasted, people who aren't like, who aren't seen by the world, but we have our own world that we're supposed to be seen in, in this world that we're supposed to have, we're still not seen, right? So that's already crazy, but it's being depicted by people who are all having their own personal struggles. <laughs> Nikia, right? That's Nikia. That's okay. Um, <clears throat> my name is Nikia. Nikia Zulu, Mother Zulu, the Mother Zulu. Um, Nikia Versace, Nikia Saint Laurent, Bad Bitch Extraordinaire, Beyonce Junior, Um, Amazonian Goddess La Diosa, and my role in Sundown Kiki was um being a part of the Asian White Cat. I can't say too much because these walls talk. They actually listen. But... Hello. 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 How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, back in the game, starting a band. <laughs> Nothing's going wrong. Great. <laughs> Please. <laughs> working day. Oh, now, this is what I want to see. For everybody in UK who do not know the history of the street, oh, 
legendary film queens of the 90s and the early 2000s, they broke in each. Yolanda, Alora, Alexis, Amina. That's how you feel. I just want to say that I'm so happy to be here. Like, everybody's just so accommodating and so sweet. It's like anything that we need, like, literally, they'd be on it. Like, physical therapy, hair, like, makeup, any type of concerns. You know your girl got locked, so bitch, just, there'd be concerns. But this is so fab. Like, I can't wait to the show day. Ah, let's do it. <laughs> So, Romans. Oh. Is that Romans? Yeah. Yeah, Romans. Okay. Hands up, please. I'm gonna ask for a character in the back there. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, squeak, squeak. Uh, <laughs> uh, who's gonna be watching Mickey Mouse? Hands up. Who's Mickey Mouse's audience over there? The Pink Panther. Who's <laughs> that? I think ballroom has really given me an opportunity and, and a place to have community where I didn't think I would have community and connect with specifically black and brown queerness, which is so fucking special. <laughs> My best role come from when I'm hurting the most. Like that's when I put on like my best performance. Either I'm pissed off or I'm sad about something. And I've been really taking all the sadness that I've had and been channeling it every night. <laughs> stolen everything from black and brown queer and trans people. So now you're gonna see our stories on our watch, on our dime from our mouths. I just want to let you know I'm also very proud of all the work that all of you have been doing. I know tech has been hard, I know this whole process has been hard, but tonight we are gonna to show our ancestors what Amen. we Amen. Amen. Sweet, so my name is Genovia Chase. I am <laughs> uh, a consultant with the Hatchery Martin Institute. I am the coordinator of house and ballroom engagements there. I'm also um, a part of the Kiki scene. I'm in the house of Juicy Couture. I am an icon, a hall of famer in the Kiki scene, am, as well as a legend in the mainstream scene. I am also, all the titles, <laughs> NYC mother of the exclusive house of Mom Ben. <laughs> Um, it's great to be on the ground here to kind of experience what specifically is Kiki for London. It's great to have people that are from New York City that the folks here look up to or aspire to be or see uh, on YouTube or online or, you know, like, so to have people physically, you know, present, it's been very, very awakening to see 
those relationships cultivate, to see the exchange between how we do things culturally and how things are done culturally here and um, ultimately what ballroom means in a global sense. Um, and it's always mean family for me. It's like mind blowing because we get here to London and like there's just all these, you know, little small open slots of time that everybody's, you know, unifying and coming together and you see people just expressing more parts of themselves. So I've been actually learning more about the young people from New York City here than I probably knew fully about them there. So the fact that Nikki is this phenomenal piano player and Kai sings and like, you know, Cotton sings and like, you know, like there's just so many talents that, you know, we just would have never thought to like, you know, focus because oftentimes the time in the world of ballroom is that you get caught up in what can you do for the category, you know. These young people are doing something that is very trailblazing and that just makes me utterly proud that they get to look back and say years from now that all these possibilities came about because they were at the table first and they did a hell of a good job representing who we were. So, very proud. <laughs> we are going to play some games and have some interactions during this kiki of ours. You play our games and we'll give you create a space for trans women of color, particularly black trans women, where they can tell their own stories, where, where they can... One of my favorite moments of the entire show is the beginning where Stasi walks out and says nothing and just stands there and the crowd is screaming and roaring at her. What does that say? What does that mean for a young non-binary person or for a young trans person sitting in the audience being like, oh, that person looks like me and they're being celebrated for being who they are? If there was one thing that, that you could offer to anyone that might see this, this, this film or, or this play, um, what, what might it be? Mm. What would I say? I would say, um, if it doesn't exist, make it exist. Once upon a time, someone was thinking that they would like to do a play about black and brown people in the kiki scene and look at it now. Yeah, it was just an idea and now it's global, I guess, right? It's in New York and London. And so um, if you want something to exist, make it exist and make it happen. That's what I can say.
raise that one. And in the name of O'Shea. who was stabbed to death in New York for dancing to a voguing for the same thing that we were doing out there that all of you live for. Somebody was just killed that we, we all here. know, that we all know personally in New York. So in the name of O'Shea, can we all give a round of applause to his yeah. uncle? Yeah.